Hello everyone, my name is Peter. I'm going to show you in this video that how we can download GNU Cash accounting app. GNU Cash is also a personal accounting software such as Quicken. But GNU Cash is an open source software that anybody can use it easily. So in this situation, I'm going to show you how we can download it and how we will gonna install it onto our computer. So let's quickly go ahead and dive into the video so first let's go ahead and open the web browser and uh, search for gnu cache this is the direct website for gnu cache and uh, then afterwards now you can see welcome to gnu cache.org as i'm using windows computer so i'm going to click on microsoft windows here then it will route me to this website as it says your download will start shortly. So let's go ahead and start and wait for this one. So here you can see my downloads like uh, GNU cache is starts to download here. So let's wait for this one to get complete. All right, let's wait for this one. All right, perfect. So as GNU cache is downloaded, we just need to click on this one then click on one i'm gonna close this window now so it will gonna show us a couple of windows options here like they are giving us several language options i'm gonna choose english and then click on okay then this is the information then click on next and this is the software installation you can say location i'm gonna just keep it over here and then i'm gonna click on next and then i will gonna click on next again and i will gonna keep it as gnu cache and i would like to create a desktop icon then i will gonna click on install it will gonna take a couple of seconds depending on your computer speed and uh, as you can see it is doing the installation quickly on my computer so let's wait for this one to get it completed and uh, if i talk about gnu cash gnu cash is something like a personal financial software which you can use to track your personal finances into it in the same way as you do in Quicken. And in the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you a couple of videos, how you can move the data from one software to the another. It means from GNU Cache to Quicken. So let's quickly go ahead and uh, wait for this one to get the installation done. All right, perfect. So as you can see, GNU Cache is downloaded. Let me click on next. Let me click on finish. And if you can see here, here is an icon of GNU Cache. So let's go ahead and open it. All right. So they are giving us an option to import from QI file, create a new file set of accounts, open the new user tutorial. I'm just going to click on create a new set of accounts, then click on OK. And this is the setup for their accounts. So let's click on account, click on next, next. I'll choose the currency. I'll choose it as dollars, like a US dollars. Let me click on this one here. If there is any option, click on next. And uh, I'm going to click on back. Let's quickly go ahead and click on cancel it. This is just a simple guide. OK, and uh, I'm going to click on next. Let me close this one. Let me reopen it again. Okay. And then let me click on OK. Click on next. Click on next. Choose a currency. Here I will say next. It will gonna pull it up automatically. And the categories such as US and uh, yep, okay i will just keep it like this way then i'll click on next next and apply they are going to create a couple of accounts for us and let's click on save as we would like to give a name to the data file or to the file which we would like to access in g and u cache so let's say i would like to give it as peter to 2025 let's click on save as it is saved now all right you can see the accounts the type of accounts will be here as assets equity accounts will be here expenses income and liabilities okay and here at the top you can see add it and let's say we would like to open an account here let's click on okay it is uh, there they pulled it up automatically as liabilities account let's click on 
close this at this moment and then you can also maintain a small business account into it like you can track your business finances like a small business finances into your gnu cash software then you can create reports there are a couple of tools which you can use online banking setup that's all what you can do it means you can set up your bank accounts for the online downloads which you can access easily and here you can say i would like to change the currency as it says inr i would like to change it as let's say i would like to keep it in us dollars so just give me one second let me show you over here all right here we have it as says usd let's click on ok and uh, account name what kind of an account it will be let's say peter checking okay for example this is with wells fargo okay i just name it as income account all right and the account type is it going to be an income account or let's say it is an income account okay let's say i'm gonna click on okay so here under the income you can see there would be an account let's say here you can see peter checking when i click on it i'm able to see my register let's say if i would like to put my if i would like to track the information manually i can simply put the information in easily here let's say mm, i received a dividend income into my like i received dividend uh let's say i received it for 50 dollars just assume like in i invested into stocks and those stocks gave me dividend income so i will just keep it like this way and now you can see 50 dollars is tracked into my peter checking account that's how you can track the information into your accounts okay so in this video i show you how you can download and install gnu cash app onto your computer to track your personal finances so in the upcoming videos i'll gonna show you some more features about gnu cash and i will also create some more videos about quicken and quickbook okay so please stay in touch with me regarding the upcoming videos also i also provide basic bookkeeping services to small business owners this is my direct website my number and this is my contact email address in case you would like to reach me related to anything regarding quicken quickbooks bookkeeping you can get back to me anytime and i will be there for you thank you have a good one i will see you in the next video bye bye